good afternoon everyone. So uh, here we are doing another look good video. So this time we're actually going to uh, do a bit of a walk around the nursery and um, pick out some plants that are looking really nice. So first up today we've got Hebe topiera. <coughs> so that's this one here. And they are a lovely little Hebe. Um, the name topiera of course is derived from um, topiary. So they are naturally uh, compact little ball shape Hebe. Uh, really nice. Um, typically don't need pruning which is a big benefit of um, with Hebe's because the majority of Hebe's do need pruning um, at least once a year in the light trim um, normally after flowering to stop them from going woody so but yeah these are a nice nice one that pretty much keep themselves so good for um, easy care gardens or anywhere where there's difficult access that type of thing where you can't get in to prune them so yeah, they're looking really good. Um, still quite a fresh grade, the, but they do have decent roots. They uh, yeah, start to come through and it's always good to catch heebies when they're uh, in about this sort of stage. Uh, stops them becoming root bound, that type of thing, so they do develop roots very quickly. So yeah, that is those. So we'll go for a wee walk and have a look at what else we've got. So I've got with me a tray of Cordyline Australis. <coughs> so these are really, really big grade um, in a one litre pot. They, um, yeah, I don't know, I actually have a roller on me, but they're probably a good half a metre tall. And they are definitely ready for a new home. Now uh, they get to the point of well, nearly being root bound, but, but they're still good. Um, you get these planted out in the next couple of months and they'll be, they'll be doing well. So. So yeah, that's Cordyline Australis, and um, great for any of those native mixed plantings, any of that, any of that type of thing, so fantastic. Here we have Hebe Wirree Mist. So these are not on our actual trade list, but they're on our new uh, coming on list, which is, uh, if you look on the trade list, about halfway down, there's a section that now says under production, not ready yet. So that's a new section we've added to the trade list so that you can see um, everything that's coming on in the next few months. So it's got an approximate ready date. And um, yeah, these Hebe Wirree Mist uh, are nearly there. Today, again, same as the Topiera, they have got a really nice root system already. Um, they just probably could do a little bit more foliage on top, but if you've got a project that needs them, they're definitely e easily plantable. So, so yeah, lovely little Hebe. Uh, we've got a big batch of them here. Um, I think there's probably 600 or so, but uh, a lot of them are sold. But you'll see on the on the um, trade list how many are available. I think there's about 160 left, something like that. So, so yeah, one of New Zealand's most popular hebes, um, particularly for the ornamental space. And um, they grow to about 70 centimetres tall and wide. Um, and they have a lovely white flower, so fantastic choice. Okay, moving on. fantastic block of Buxus sempervirens. So uh, probably don't need to explain what Buxus sempervirens are, I think everybody knows what they are. But yeah, really lovely batch. These have um, um, just really come in, um, out with a full flush of new growth in the last um, three to four weeks. So they're looking, they're looking fantastic. So there you go, and uh, they, they even have a little wee flower in them at the moment. Not sure if you can see that there, but yeah, boxes, boxes have a very insignificant flower, but, but there they are. <coughs> so, 
Again, these have got good roots. Lovely plant just to get bang in the ground. And yes, we have lots of these. Um, I can't remember the number off the top of my head, but I think there's probably 500 or so, or even more, 800 available. So great to get into the ground for any of those formal small hedges um, or any tapery sort of work that you want to do. So that is those. All right. Again, this is on our coming on list, so um, be nice to get a little bit more foliage growth on here before the before we um, send them out. But once again, good roots there, really nice roots. So um, yeah, great great time to get them on the ground. And these are a really good plant, particularly for the colder climates of New Zealand. The leaves are very small and delicate and very close together, and um, in the warmer climates that um, can promote disease so um, yeah these do, these do best in the colder colder regions of New Zealand but yeah love, lovely little heavy um, brilliant green and good for doing um, and you know contrast plantings likes of formium um, the red one whatever it's called and yeah that type of thing they just look, look really nice as a contrast plant so so that is it from us today guys, and um, yeah, check out that new trade list, availability list with that extra section, um, I think you'll find that really useful, with all the extra plants on there and, and available dates, so um, great for getting in any forward orders, that type of thing, but um, other than that we'll see you next time.